All right, let's log in. Hopefully this doesn't crash six times like it did last stream on startup. I just ran it a few minutes ago, so it should be okay. Wonder what this building is with this little star there. Look at that. First try. Load it up. There we go. Now let me just double check and make sure. Oh. That's interesting. It is. Okay. It's working. You have to talk to get the capture to work. Fancy that. Alright. So it looks like that. Why am I in group chat? Emotes? What? Not sure how to switch that. All right, so not like chatting says anything. Else. All right, I was in the land of the snow portal in the middle of the run last time, and it looks like when you end a run, or when you close the game, it, it kicks you out. I'm all the way back here at the beginning. I guess I could continue what I was doing before. I'm already over here. Point and click. Hope I don't have to do this snowing again. Oh, it jumps straight forward to where I was progressed to. Okay. So I was working on collecting fireflies. I got my 10 fireflies and I was trying to make my fireflies. Jar of fireflies, okay. So I wanted to do something like stick them, make a, I wonder what I could do with them. I wanted to make some kind of a, Wooden, maybe if I take my logs and I mix it, I chop some maple logs. Okay, so I, that didn't really matter. Don't chop all the tree, you're going to run ruin all the tasty maple. Alright, craft logs, light logs, use logs. Okay, you could use it and you can add it to a bonfire, create a tinderbox, incense sticks, or a knife. I don't think any of those would work. They talk about with fires and things like that, so that doesn't look like that's what I want. What about craft logs? Light logs, use logs, drop out, examine logs. Let's examine. Used in fire making, flashing, and construction. Okay. Let's see, what else could I do? I want to do something with this bucket and a log. So I want like a stick and the fireflies. Uh, what if I investigate that? How does something tasty come out of a tree? Okay, that didn't work. Um, examine bucket of syrup. It's a bucket of syrup, eh? Examine jar of fireflies. Perfect for lighting up a night sky. Yes. Open store oddments. Oh, that's probably random items or something. It's probably gonna open up the fill up my backpack. Um use jar of fireflies with bucket of syrup. Use bucket of syrup. There are fireflies. Nothing. Um, let's see. I feel like I need a stick. If I take a stick and put the in the maple and then the fireflies, then I'll make a torch. But she'll eat them all. That's the problem. 
We need to like put them put them in the Yeah, I don't know. How is, why is it so hard for her to just hold it without eating it? So tempting, huh? Catch more, I could break the jar, but then I'd have to admit a bug would work. That's funny. Talk to Violet. If I give you a firefly, you're just going to eat it. Yummy. Must be another way to light the way using the fire. How about any hints? Got a bucket of syrup. That's great. Now what are you going to do with it? Good question. I should probably look around to see if there's any use for it. Look around. Okay. These are all maple trees. These are all bushes. Nothing useful around here. Did they want me to go up the trail all by myself? Because that seems like a Check leaning tree. Okay, well, I'll look. This. Oh, well, there's a lot of these trees. Ah, you have covered one fourth areas with syrup. Oh, okay. So I cover the trees with syrup and then they light my path. Okay. You cover the third out of four with syrup, you cover the fourth out of four. It appears at all surfaces I could cover, I could tell Violet the next step of the plan. as much of the dark areas as I can with syrup, which should attract the fireflies to them. This should light the ways for us. To hey, they're going to eat all the syrup. Nah, no way. If we run through, I need you to let the fireflies out of the jar so they can fly to the syrup and give us light. No eating them. Okie doke. Are we out of the woods yet? Violet, don't run too far ahead. They've got no heads. That's a good thing. It means they won't be see us sneaking past. But they've got no heads. That makes me sad. Please, can we help them? Sure, let's make them some makeshift heads. Yay! There's some over there we can use to make new heads for the golems. Find suitable replacement for the ice golems missing heads. Take icy snow. How are we going to use this snow to make heads? Don't be silly, that is snow. If we compact the snow hard enough, it will hold together and work just fine. How do you, what do you, how do you think snowmen are made? Snow? Snowman? What is a snowman? A man made of snow. To hit, you're so silly. But if I pull a face, 
pull a face. You have to make it just like mine. A face like this. Happy face, sad face, laughing face, angry face. I have to see what face she has. Oops. That'd be a laughing face. Oh, I have to go back to the snow and then say laughing face. So I have to be able to see her face when I do this. It's kind of silly. I gotta remember that the camera is over here. like this mm, laughing thing. <laughs> that isn't what I was doing but it looks funny we'll keep it a face like that's a laughing face That wasn't what I was doing. We'll keep it. Face like this. Happy face. That isn't what I was doing. Looks funny. We'll keep it. A face like this. Mm, sad face. Yes, I love it. face like this angry face looks like we have enough how do you suggest we go about giving them the heads they're snowball heads let's throw them like snowballs I'll point him out. You hit him. Sound good? <laughs> what a great plan. You point them out. I'll throw the heads to reattach them. Sounds like a great plan. Oh my god. Supposed to point at them or something? Oh, I just direct them in. I just chuck in, chuck in snowball heads. they don't mind if I miss a lot. I'm just checking. Clicking. To find the headless one. It's a bunch down here. Yay. One head left. Who's missing? You reattach 15 golem heads. Where'd you get such pinpoint aim? Snowball fights with dad. It's easier to hit because he eats uh, the stew mom makes. <laughs> but we shouldn't tell him that though. <laughs> He's right there. I was cheeky, Violet. But Mom always calls you her chunky monkey. That was so much fun, Mangler. I loved every second of it. Can we take one home with us? 
We've already got a little horror running around the house. How do you think we'll be able to handle two? I'm not a horror, I'm a horror, I'm a yeti. Should we get going? Wait, wait, wait. We got to name them all first. That'll take way too long. That one is Cold Feet, and that one is Iceman, and that one is... Before you get attached to them, we should go. That one is Cold Hands, and that small foot over there next to... Phew! What a walk. You can't be tired already. I thought you said we were some kind of... You were some kind of great adventurer. I am. I'm just not used to such a snowy terrain. Anyway, what do we have here? That looks like a broken pond. We need to figure out a way across the lake. Ice does not look safe here. You're right, if we try to cross now, we'll go straight through. Hmm, I have to find another way around. Say, I don't suppose you know a way. This is the only way. Are you sure? You didn't say... You did say it's been years since you've been to town. I'm old, not stupid. Okay, okay, I didn't mean like that. All I mean is there has to be a way we can get around without risking Violet's life on the ice. Rock. Snow everywhere! Violet, you did it? Did what? You gave me an idea. We can use Violet's roars to cause more snow to fall and thicken up the ice should become safe enough to cross. Why don't you leave this to me? Get ready for the best roar you ever heard. Stop! I'm sure you have a great roar, but this is Violet's adventure, remember? You keep her busy while I give her something else to roar at. Roar! Objective, build something else for Violet to roar. Take a handful of snowballs. Do you really want a, another snowball fight? On second thought. Do you take a handful of snowballs? So now I have 50 snowballs. I could examine the snowball. Yep, it's a ball. Made out of snow. Ooh, a melted snowman. Probably need some more snow to do that. Collect some more snow, build another snowman. Abandoned crate. I'll build a snowman and go check one of these abandoned crates over here. You find a top hat. You find some carrots. Add branches to snowman. Ah, okay, so one's a branches, one's a carrot, and two branches. Use carrot on snowman, it says add branches. Okay, so they all need branches, how do I make some branches? I've got logs, can I craft logs into branches? Incense sticks? This is for fire though, I don't think that's it.
prune tree. There we go, get some branches out of that. Use branch. Okay, so I need three, so I'm gonna prune this tree and get a third. Now I have four, so I have more than I even need. Add branches to snowman. I'll just click on him and see what happens. Hey, it worked. Oh, so I need... That was four. I probably need a... Yep. To rebuild the snowman, you need seven coals and one carrot. So I need to prune the tree again because I need more branches. Of course, two per snowman. I should know. There we go. Got the branches. Add face to snowman. To rebuild snowman, you need seven coals and one. Do I need to start a fire to make coals? Oh, here's another crate. Or is this the same one? We find some carrots. Coal, coal, coal. Should I start a fire or not? Check the three crates. Pruned quite a bit. Add face to snowman. Let's try again. Seven coal and one carrot. Where am I going to find the coal? Does a fire create a coal? I don't know. Let me talk to him. Maybe he's got coal in his back pocket. Is the ice safe to cross yet? Not yet. Need to build a snowman, and Violet's roar should be able to knock snow on the ice to help strengthen the ice. I'm sure if you look around, you can find any everything you need, except for coal. Talk to Violet. Roar! That's it. Keep practicing the roar. I'll build the snowman. I light the logs. Will that become coal? Seems kind of silly to have to do this for a long time. Probably need three carrots. I probably need three hats. Let's go collect those while we're waiting. Hope I can pick up a lot of coal from that. I wonder if I can branches. Nah, I probably wouldn't have to turn it. Alright, find some carrots. So I got three carrots. This was the hat one, right? Find a top hat. Okay, that's two. Find another top hat. That would be three. So now we just need coal. Maybe it's hiding over here. No, 
can't see anything. I wonder what I could do to the fire. Can I like pour water out on it? Oh, that would be for cooking. I'm standing in the fire. Ouch. Maybe I could throw the snowball at the fire. Looks like enough snow for now. I know I've already looked in here, that's not what I need. Probably gonna say you have enough snow. Uh, you find some coal. Hey! I found coal. I had not opened that one apparently. How much do I get? Uh, oh, that was 14. I need 21, so. Bingo! Alright. Now we got everything. That fire was pointless. Oh, take ashes. What do ashes do? Ashes, I don't know. You can bury them. No. That's bones that you bury. Okay, put the faces on. Sweet. Ta -da. Add hat. It's funny they put the faces on all at the same time, but they won't put the hat on at the same time. There we go. How's that? Oh, look, Violet. Another snowman. Getting to roar. I'm going to get it. That's it, Violet. Look, Violet, another snowman. I'm gonna get it. That's it, Violet. Look, Violet, another snowman. That's it, Violet. Ice is now thick enough to walk across. That's a lot of ice. How do we get across that? That's what I'm about to figure out. We're going to need some way of getting you across safely first though. Look around for a way to cross the frozen lake. A Mr. Broken Snowman. At this moment, you realize the inevitability of life is that you are but a moment away from death. Aww. Life can feel so solid, but really you are just compacted ice on a wintry di winter's day. Sunshine, a swift kick, or a roar to the face can change you. Snowman, oh snowman, you went before. We could truly appreciate you, but I will honor you. This day, and each day that follows, I will carry a piece of you in my heart. That's a lot of ice. How do we get across that? I'm about to figure it out. I bet if I go over there... Okay. That was easy peasy. I don't know why she suddenly feels differently, but we'll take it. Ooh, now we got water. We need a boat. You really are resourceful, aren't you? An adventurer must be prepared for any eventuality. You'd be amazed by the things you can use 
on other on each other to get bizarre interactions. I have no doubt. So what next? Onwards to Yeti Town. Taking on whatever this journey throws at us, one step at a time. Ooh, that's a lot of ice. How do we get across that? That's what I'm about to figure out. We're gonna need some way of getting across the ice. Just getting you across safely. I I can't walk around. I was trying to squeeze through to see if there was a way. Is it here to me? Or do I climb up here? Can I? Can I climb up here? I don't see anything. What do I have? I have ashes. I have a vial. I have oddments. Ooh, what's that over there? Reach into icy water. Oh. What is in there? That's gonna freeze my hand. You reach into the icy water. And you pull a barrel from the water. It looks the right size to fit Violet. Oh dear. I'm gonna climb over here and see what this is. If they let me. Oh, don't want to let me out. Put her in a bucket, load her across. What's the barrel for? Would you like to ride the Barrel Express? Next stop, Yeti Town. Push Violet in a barrel. Well, I'm already on the other side. Are you ready, Violet? Let's go, wee! Oh, I see. I it's a. Uh... The puzzle, I need to push her across there. Wow, this is weird. Whoa! Way too far to push by. Okay, well then I'll go here. through that one. Uh-oh. That was close. Slippy pattern. Too far away to push her. This can't be right. Put her at that angle with that je with jeopardizing your own balance. Mm -hmm. 
Wish I could hit, like, restart. Probably start out the wrong way. See, now she's in a corner. I can't... Reset puzzle. There we go. Yeah, it looks like we're stuck. There is a way to reset. Good. Okay. Have you tried sliding diagonally on the ice? Um, like that way? I don't think there's any way to go but straight. push. Great. Are you ready, Violet? Let's go. Whee! Alright, I'm gonna go this way. No, this way. I get diagonal. Keep stopping me at the same spot. Can't click right there. Keeps going back to that same spot. sure at that angle. There we go. Bingo. Took me long enough. Alright, I'm gonna go right and then I'm gonna turn right. Yeah, 
There we go. I'm making progress. I went over there, so if I come up around here. She's smiling. Must be doing something right. I'm gonna go over and then go just to the right of it. Because if I can't go right there, but if I, if I have space here. Guess this doesn't work. Find something else. I need to get over here, but I don't think I have enough space for that. I think I'm gonna restart. I was kind of heading down the right path, but I needed to come up with a better way. Let's reset. I think I'm stuck. Sliding diagonally. Yeah, right. That'll be the day. That'll work, close enough. No, oh, I slid right past her. Not what I wanted. So I would be careful, don't flip your straight there. No. Not what I want. Okay, so I need to figure out how to get... Turn that way. So I need to get my body into that position. So if I go here... No. 
Maybe if I go this way and then push her diagonally. If I push her here, she's just gonna be stuck. I need to come up with a way to get her uh, away from that spot. That's kind of good. If I push her that way, yeah, she'll get stuck. So I need to go. Somewhat off kilter. There we go. No. I have no idea how to get her back out of here. Okay. I need like ice skates or something. That would be like a cheat mode. That's a spot where she can't go to. Back again, start over. Where's the I give up button? I am so not getting this one. Is that an existing of a spot? Examine compacted snow. Looks slippy beyond this one. Walk. Oh, I walked it.
Alright, I'm walking here. I'm gonna see if I can walk here. I need to walk to this spot. Walk just an inch to the right. Alright, I'm pushing her. And I'm probably stuck there. Right. There's gotta be something else I could do with all this. I just need to get myself across and pick up something that fixes everything. Alright, so she's stuck. But I am not necessarily stuck. Let's try to get myself across first. Easy peasy. Alright, I can get myself across. Phew, I made it. I should have tied her to a string. Hey, what about me? I knew I was forgetting something. Take the path continue this way. Can I even go that way? Let's do it this way. Probably won't let me go without her. Hey, look, I see her over here. Slipping, slipping, slipping. What if I just drag her? Like, seriously, I need a rope. Well, I can get myself across. We tried sliding diagonally, I have. It's not allowing anything but that way, so I guess I just have to push you for the first step. Maybe at each step I need to move my mouse around to see what my options are. Hey, over there it said three more options. Three more options. What does that mean? Oh, if I right click, I can add the other three options. Oh, okay. That doesn't work. Okay. From here, I've got only one move. So. What if I try pushing her in that direction first? If I go that direction first, she's locked. She's stuck immediately. I don't want that. What if I put myself at an angle diagonally? 
like get myself back in that corner. Now at a diagonal angle. From here. Please walk diagonally. This way. How about here? No, it goes to the same spot. Towards her. Dang. Slide right past her, probably. Yep. There we go, diagonal here. Now go to an angle. Stuck in the well, let's try it. I've never done it before, so let's just try it. Give me some magic. Ah, look at that. She's totally not in the spot I thought she was going Slide, buddy. Stop at this rock. If I go this way, it slides me. If I try any other way, it goes to the right. Can't go in the middle. Stop. That's the trick. Diagonal. Makes no sense, so it might be right. Mm. 
not that way. No, get locked. Can't push her because if I push her here, she's locked. I don't think there's any way to go from here because she's on an edge. Yeah, she's stuck. I'm stuck. Weird how I can stop before the ice. You just see something that's completely on this angle. I need to get something that bumps me over slightly. There's nothing like stopping my progress.
maybe if I walk here, I'm inside that one. Can we climb over it? No. That would make too much sense. I can do this and push him that way, but pushing her that way does not help. Although, what if I came back? No, it's, that's. There's no way. Why is diagonal so far from this guy? He's stuck in the uh, wrong mindset. But you won't go straight towards him. See? He's going to clear across the whole way. Hey, there we go. Push her that way. In an angle. Push her into the water. I'm so tired of her. with that guy. A girl in a barrel. Is this something that happens on many occasions?
There we go. Finally got around. It's that stupid rock right there. There we go. I can handle this. Alright, now don't do anything stupid. I need to get to where that rock is and push her all the way across there. Push her up to there. Get myself around, push her to there, and I'll be done. Whew! There we go. Of course you're there. I need to go into that spot, so let's go. Yes, yes. Just don't make me go back and get the daddy. Violet! We did it! <sighs> again! Again! Maybe later. Right now I have to let... We have to get to Yeti Town. How are we going to get your dad across? Oh, don't you worry about me. Look out, here I come. That was incredible. Why didn't you just have her on your back? Ow, my bones. We did it, this is wonderful. So happy, so relieved. Investigate open space. is the part where you hit save. <laughs> Yeti Town is just down that hill. I can see it. Look, look, it's over there. Mumble. What's up, Violet? Sign louder, inaudible. Mumble. Mumble. Friends. What is it? What if they don't like me? What if no one wants to be my friend? Why? Now, why would they not want to be friends with you? Mumble. You are brave, fun, and lovable, and now one of the world's greatest adventurers. The kids will be lining up to be your friend. You really think so? 
I sure do. Now what do you say we figure out how to get down there and make the best entrance possible? Or ever. That slope is too steep, steep to walk down. We need to find a safe way of getting down there. We should build a big sled with lots of lights and lots of sparkles. With go faster lanes on the side. Let's do it. You're in charge. What do we need to do? We need to find a clear spot to build our sled. It's lovely to see how excited she is. Chop down Yeti village sign. Why would I do that? This looks like a good spot to build a sled. How does this look? Tee hee hee. It's just a flat area. Exactly. Perfectly flat, super open area. This is where we'll build the best sled ever. Next, we need to find a suitable material to build the sled with. Investigate crate. A rope. It's a little wet, seems sturdy enough to use as bindings for the sled. Already got it. I could chop down the sign. Ooh, a rock. Rotten barrel way over there. Maybe this old barrel will do. All the woods rotted away, leaving only the metal fasteners. The barrel was complete, we could just slid Violet down in it and walk down ourselves. In that case, why don't we just keep the barrel from earlier and do that? That would be a forward thinking. And seeing you struggle is... Wait for it. A barrel of laughs. Such a dad joke. Carved in the side reads, Couldn't think of a barrel exam... Okay, examine, so I wrote this. Alright, let's see what else. Oh, I guess I'll chop down the sign just because there's nothing else to do. Thought I got those fasteners. Yeah, it says I already got it. Okay. Got rope, got fasteners. Looks like it did work as a base for the sled. Perfect. Oh no, I think I just chopped down the sign that points the way to the village. If you just turn it upside down, nobody will know. You're right, it'll be our little secret. So I have the three parts. Use barrel parts, rope. Where's the sign? Chop side. Nothing to see here. Alright, all talk. Usually it's three things, so. What do you think we should do next? 
Can we sit on dad as he slides down on his belly? Mmm. Sounds good. I don't think my bones would be able to take both of you. Aww. What about... Sliding down whilst me and dad sit on you? Oh. Just said the same thing. I'll look around and see if there's anything else we could use. I'll stand here and watch. Oh, there's ice down there I can look investigate. Can I just come from there? Love it to see it say There's something glinting down there. Oh, that is cold. Oh, very cool. Almost there. You pull up a wet lantern. Come on, don't slide on this ice. Let's go, let's investigate this open space again, and then keep going. Let's just click the Oh, who needs instructions? Hmm. Pretty sure that's right. Nope, that looks wrong. Maybe instructions are needed. Objective, find something to bind the sled together with. That would be the rope I have. Where'd my rope go? There it is. Or the barrel parts. Oh, I see. They used those parts. Here, get a rope there. That seems quite tight, feeling sturdy. Next, we find something to help the sled slide. Perfect fit. It's a little wonky. If I just bend that, turn that, okay, I'm good. That fits into place just there. Find a light to attach. Check. Looks great. Now find some fuel to keep that lantern lit. Hmm. Let me click on it and see if it tells me what to look for. We got an arrow pointed over here. Does this mean something? Which means I have to click on something. Fuel for a lantern. That would be what? Wood? Oil? Gas? Some hydrocarbon of some sort? That looks slippery, I'm not gonna go that way. This actually looks kinda like that other hill that we went up in the snowball flight. Oh wait, there's a crate over here. There's gotta have my full fuel in it. Oh, chops. There it is, sorry. Right, right.
what could be used for fuel? There's stuff up here. Investigate fire. Why did you get up there? Why did you go all the way back around? Still smoking. Some travelers have been here recently. Sparkle's hot. No need for ice gloves. Good thing I have a tinderbox in my tool belt, otherwise I have big issues with the only one hidden nearby. My convenience. Okay, so that was charcoal. Maybe that's going to be the fire. I was, I was right about fire. Just didn't realize you had to walk all the way back over. Go, go, go. You can do it. Running, running, running. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Looks like a sled's finished. What a beauty it is. What do you think we should do next? Time to give this sled a name. Ooh, can I pick? Please, please, please. Wouldn't have it any other way. How about... Hmm, I can't think of a name. Could you please give me some ideas? Alright, suggest a name. Slidey Sled, Cool Runnings, Warm Walkings, Violet's Pride, Sleddy McSled Face, Bob, Dunstan, Trolls Romance, or Violet. Hmm? Looks like somebody wants Cool Runnings. <laughs> How about cool runnings? I love it. I really love it. So we should add some racing stripes now. Oh no, perfect just the way it is. Time to set off for Yeti Town. Are you ready? More ready than ever. So excited. We made it! Awesome! They're doing fireworks! She's so pretty! I'm going to be her best friend! No, I am! I want to have hair just like her. This is it? Looks like it. This. 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 is amazing. It's the best ever. I knew it. Oh, Mangler, thank you. It was good fun, Violet. Daddy, can I go play? Of course, be safe, play nice. Congratulations, you have completed Violet is Blue. You are awarded one quest point. Lamps of Joy, Wonder and Laughter, the Yeti title, two Hunter Treasure Keys, and three quest points. Or maybe that's my total quest points. Yeah, that's probably my total. Cool. And it dropped me off in this exact same spot. Perfect. All right. I think that's a good spot to do a cut. What do you think? All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll catch you next time. Thanks. Bye.